Hello, this is Mike Boggs, Striker System Sales Manager. This is a short video for those of you who do a lot of single part production on your cutting or punching machines. Of course, the basic SS Profile and SS Punch programming modules offer a lot of tools to do a layout of a single part number. So you may think there's no advantage to adding auto nesting capability. After all, with a single part number you can just create an XY grid of the part, right? Well, in this video we'll explore this a little bit and see how a small investment in the SS Nest auto nesting module can potentially save you big money in material costs. We'll begin with a little bit of interactive capability which is found in both the SS Profile and SS Punch modules. I'm going to insert a part from the Part Share Library, go to the Grid option, and designate that I'm gridding this part on a fixed blank or sheet size. I just want to see how many I can get on a 4x8 sheet. And as you can see, the result is less than impressive with only 27 parts placed on the sheet. But this is where the flexibility of Striker CAD CAM comes in. I'm going to undo to get back to my original part. And this time, before I create the grid, I'm going to use my interactive iNest options to pair this part with itself. Now I'll create a grid of the pair of parts. That looks better, but still not great. One consideration with creating an XY grid is that we're working off of the rectangular bounds of the part, or in this case the pairing of parts. Here we see where the parts could be pulled closer together, but that's not something that's achieved in an XY grid. And we also have some wasted material that we haven't yet utilized. Yes, I can use the interactive iNest features to move all of these parts closer together, and I could add some additional parts in. I could also try this part at different angles to see if I could get a better yield, but all of this takes more time. We have 36 parts on the layout now, and if we check the material utilization we see it's just over 56%. Now let's see what SS Nest can do. I'm going to erase this layout, open the Nest Wizard interface, and create a new Nest Kit. I'll add this same part to it, but rather than assigning a specific quantity, I'm going to select the Fill Sheet toggle. Now I'll calculate this nest, also on a 4x8 sheet. SS Nest determined that a rotated part provides a better yield, and we now have 42 parts. You'll see we're no longer nesting by rectangular bounds, but rather by the true shape of the part. Our material utilization has increased to over 65%, an improvement of about 10%. What else SS Nest does for you is allow you to do some very fast comparisons. I'm going to recalculate this nest, but I'm going to have SS Nest consider my available sheet sizes and select the one that will give me the best material utilization. Well in this case it selected a 5x10 sheet and my material utilization just went up to over 72% with 72 parts on the sheet. That's an additional 7% improvement in material utilization by going to the larger sheet. So if you are ordering material for this job, you can have SS Nest quickly compare against a large quantity of sizes to determine which will provide your best yield. And we're not done. Sure, you need to run this one part, but perhaps you have another part or parts of the same material for another job that could be worked in. In this case, I have a small mounting bracket that I'm gonna select as a filler part and my nest is recalculated. My material utilization just improved another 5%, up to almost 78%. Remember, SS Nest works for parts that are profile cut or punched. So if you're doing a lot of single part production and haven't considered auto nesting for that reason, you see now that SS Nest can be a valuable tool to minimize scrap in a single part production. And as a side note, if you're cutting material off of a coil, SS Nest can optimize that as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if we can be of assistance in any way, please don't hesitate to contact us.